He's still protecting the pawn. And do we have anything that can put some pressure on that pawn? Can't attack the queen. So I've gone on to a dark square. It's nice and safe. My rooks are kind of not really in the game per se, are they? If we come here, it gets taken. So there's no immediate threat on it. It's just if it does, then where do we go? Queen's going to get faced off. Knight, Queen maybe can come here a little bit. I'm going to bring the Queen here, supporting the pawn as well. Maybe just try and slide it up. Yeah, it's always going to be a tapped, won't it? So do we bring it here? If we bring it here, the Queen is supporting now, so we can come here and attack their Queen. So we are trying. And I do, oh, he's attacking our queen. You see, this is the thing. So we can't, well, there's no two on one now because the knight's not there. We can still move it up. But it's then stopping the, but nothing's attacking there at the minute. Where's it going again? Can it, can it attack me again? The knight. Let's go here. See if we can get this out, but I think the might the queen can't go there because the pawn's there, so maybe we might be safe to get the knight out of there and attack the queen. And they're off again, so where's this knight going? Let's attack their queen. I'm inclined to say it's trapped, but it's not because we, we it can go here for an exchange. Oh, and he can go back there as well. All right, so there's a lot of dancing going on. He's got his knight attacking the pawn here. Rooks are free as birds coming across, attacking this pawn. Let's come here. Might be a bit arty, but you never, you never know. You never know, it might work. He's got these knights that are looking to get my queen. I can sense it in the water. I'm throwing my eye over here and also taking this, taking that, doubling the rooks, maybe. Yeah, let's do that and attack, but then he's got his knight. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do this. There's no back rank because we've got the queen protecting. Let's take. And we don't have anything clear. It'd be nice if this pawn wasn't here. And now he's getting all excited because he's putting a check on. Could still go there, but his knight is there. Knight's got no protection. Could just bring this to protect. Comes down for a check on the king, backwards and forwards. Bam, 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 bam. It's attacking the rook. Space, but no space. Could put a check on the king. Might as well do that. Kings down would be nice if that pawn wasn't there, which is a shame. Can the knight do anything? Not really. Can we push this pawn? I'm crushing the pawn. He's just going to push down. But then we can maybe go here. Rook type situation. Oh, stop it. Woo. Did he just take? Huh. Oh, if the queen... It's all ifs here, isn't it, in this game? If the queen wasn't there. If, if, if. It's going for a trade. It's going for a trade. It must be plus one or something. Yeah, they're plus one. So the queen will go for the exchange. If we went there, then the queen takes. But then we're still not going to get that checkmate thing. Oh, come on. It's got a repet. Did he waste a move then? Oh no, the queen can put a check on, but we can take the rook off the board. Oh, that's not the situation, is it? We were going to go here, but then that's not going to make any difference, is it? Because it can just take and we can't get the check. Let's go with that. Let's take his rook off the board. And he takes ours and we have nothing. It's equal though. It's equal. 
suppose this part is going to come here for this pawn, isn't it? Hmm. Push. And it goes quiet. Let's push. He's blocked his own knight, so his knight's not jumping here now, attacking this pawn. So we're probably looking to do a bit of. Oh, he's coming for me. Um, there's no real point going there because his knight is protecting this area. And even if we came round here, so we may as well come this way, attack this pawn. This king has to come back to defend it. Ooh, let's take. Do we have a whirlwind? Yes, take. Oh, does he have a whirlwind on me? Let's take. He seems to think he knows what he's doing. Let's go here. So he got a fork. What's the deal? So we need to make space, don't we, for the pawns moving up. Let's go. Oh. Would you? Damn it, even it. Push. Unbelievable. If we pushed, his knight can go here, can't it? But he has to do that now. If we pushed here. And then he takes. And then we push again. And his knight comes. Oh no, he's still in time, isn't he? Oh man, that's a damn shame. Lovely position and everything. And now I'm, all my pawns are disappearing. Oh, shabby time. Shabby, shabby, shabby. Can I not get any more of his now then? It's so annoying. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go up, up. Nothing else to do. I can take actually. What are you doing? Oh my life! I'm gonna have to just race. I'm not. I'm not even winning it. Oh my god! Yeah, it's just trading there. Thought I'd got away with it then. I've got away with nothing. Come on, stalemate me. Ooh, little. Stalemate, stalemate. Come on, let there be some justice in the world. No, there's no stalemate. Oh, one space. Oh, it'll make me laugh if it's a stalemate. Please, come on. I don't think he can get a stalemate from this, though. <gasps> Draw! <laughs> Question's got to be asked. How strong are these players on this site? Let's take this here. Looks like he wants to exchange the queens. 
let's take there's something got yeah i was just about to say there's something wrong with the movement here so i'm going to lose a pawn or something like that and another pawn so i might as well just bring this back here rook's coming to challenge so he's looking to trade off because oh i thought it was plus where plus one <laughs> hey there's a shocker isn't it we're plus one. We don't actually have to exchange. We're, we're owning the file. We're owning the file. Uh, I'm going to take. I'm going to take, seeing as there was a great revelation there. Although plus one, it's like doubled pawns. It's not exchanging now. It's attacking the bishop. Let's x-ray through to the rook. What's happened? Something's just happened. No, let's just take. So he's doubled all my pawns on this, both sides. We do have an X-ray, so basically the knight's coming off the ball, but it's not for free. It's going for the... Yeah, okay, knight versus a bishop. All right, let's do that then. Let's do that then. Shall we push? I'll get the king involved. Shall we get the king up first? Let's do this. Let's, uh, we moved the wrong way. Let's go here. X-ray and through to the pawn. Ooh, looky, looky, looky. He's moving a bit quick, isn't he? He's moving a bit quick. So the knight's having to stay there for a bit. Don't want to get my king too close to the knight, though. Bishop's got the squares, so he's not really going anywhere with his knight. Just wanting to get our... Oops, excuse me. Just wanting to get our bishop because the bishop's a bit of an annoyance. So we could push, but then he's not going to come there. Could push so that the king can come in, but the king can't take the knight anyway, so why am I bothering with that? And if the king comes further, we can take this pawn. But then the knight's going to escape. What do we do? What do we do? Let's push. Push again. Oh, but he's just going to drop down anyway. Oh, he's not doing any of that. He wants his knight to get out. Mm. <laughs> he wants his knight to get out. Let's go here. King's coming down. It's got a straight track actually coming down here to come here to get the pawn. It's not doing that though. It's got this pawn. Oh, come on. Cut me some slack. Let's go back again. It can come down for these pawns. He's not doing that. He's going for a draw, isn't he? What about we do this? Ooh, not a fan, not a fan. <gasps> he's got out. And he's got linked pawns and I've got split pawns. This is not a good look. This is not a good look, dude. I'm going to have to swindle this one. This is not... He pushes. Oh, his pawn's going to be on the far side, isn't it? We go here. And then he pushes. Then we take. Yeah, so we'd have to take with this one. But then we're going to lose the pawn, aren't we? We're going to lose the pawn. But we have to do something with the doubled pawns. It's not going for it. <sighs> we're finished here, aren't we? This is not good.
This is not good. Let's push this. Massive Zugzwang situation coming on. If we push this, if he takes, then he's doubled anyway. So that helps us. If he pushes, then we can take, take. So I'm going to do that. And hope that he put yes so he's doubled so we can push this kind of to stop the king but they can, their king can come around can't it although we shouldn't won't lose too much sleep because we can go up so one zugzwang please don't be bad on us let let us have the zugzwang please let us be giving them so if we push one then that blocks that down so they have to move do they go for this Oh, can we push? That's not going to work, is it? If we pushed, got a check on, he takes, then the king hides here. Okay, that's what we're going to have to do. And then he moves across. And then, oh, still Zugzwanged, he's got that space there. And then he can come around the side here. Oh, fuck, crying out loud. Put the check on. Maybe he can't get to there. He can't come here. And none of us can get in now. So it's it's a draw. Unbelievable. Damn. Yeah, there's no way in. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. Backwards and forwards now. Oh, there we go. I'm going to try and play this game like a grandmaster. Yeah. I'm going to try and play it like I know everything about the game and I can slice through this opponent like their butter. Yep, so that's how I'm, I'm going to play this game. Smooth. I'm going to find all the correct moves. The positions are going to be tight. Everything's just going to be so relaxed and chilled. So I'm going to believe I am a grandmaster. I'm going to, for this brief game, for this game here, I'm going to change my mindset and believe that yes i am a grandmaster let's castle here nice and steady only the for the psychology of well they seem to be able to just slice through people like anything so maybe maybe it's a mindset thing so bring the bishop back don't need to rush anything just nice and steady just see what the opponent's doing um, I don't have the technical speak of a grandmaster, but, you know, go for the general feel of what I'm talking about. Let's develop the knight. Nothing's worrying us at the minute. It seems pretty full, straightforward. So they've got a single piece attacking here. It's not really working as a team. This knight can be, this bishop can be put under pressure with our knight here. We've got a bishop on the back. We could look to develop that, you know, just to get it into a decent position. If we're looking at being really aggressive and attacking, maybe we could look to attack this pawn here. But now the knight is here, we're not going to do that. So we could just attack, but we'd lose the pawn. We could just attack the bishop because it's available. Might as well be proactive. Let's just take, could take with the knight, just take with the queen. Yeah. So the knight's going to be wanting to move because it wants our um, knight. So we're going to move the knight. Our knight's protected by the pawn. We don't mind doubling the pawns. That's all pretty straightforward. So it's getting simplified, which is good for us. And um, we can take and just attack the pawn with the knight. So that's pretty smooth, straightforward stuff there at the minute. So obviously it's going to be coming defending with the pawn. What do we want to do? We do have a bishop that we can attack. So, okay, so they've left the pawn for us. So we can take and we're also attacking the bishop. So they're still continuing this attack. So they believe that if we do take here, then the queen is going to be here. It is targeting this area. So what I think is potentially going to happen is we do have a check on the king. So the queen has to do something about it. So it's probably going to take. Do they lose that tempo now? Because we can push this pawn up and defend. So their queen is probably looking to go onto the dart square here to go for the mate. Yeah, so we can block with our queen. Let's take. 
well, we can bring the Queen here anyway, kind of not preventing that, but at least if it does come here, we can stop it. Okay, or we can take the pawn off the board, or we can just push like we said, but we want to be able to challenge their queen. If we do, if we do this and the pawn comes down, the rook is looking to come across here to come here. Our bishop is still stuck in the back. We could push this pawn up. Do we want them being able to take the pawn? There's nothing in front of the pawn, is there really? So we could push or we can just let the pawn go. If we do that, he gets a two on one on this pawn. So do we just bring the queen here anyway? I'm going to bring the queen here anyway. Because it's almost doing a double job thing there. I mean, if he does take, we can take. But we've got to be very wary. The rook is ready to come running down here to do this. So it's on our rook. So we could do it. What? How fast is he going to be? He does have that. That's the key thing that they're looking for. So if our king took, then obviously that would be a mess up. If the queen takes, even Stevens-ish. So the rook is probably going to, like we said, try and make its way around here. Now he's going to double doses. Be nice to get the bishop out. Okay, let's move that and then push here. Oops, excuse me. Let's get the bishop out. Let's push this. So we're actually attacking the pawn. But, oops, excuse me, but the pawn's just going to protect. So it doesn't want our bishop coming to this square. Oh, it's actually... Oh, okay, so, yeah, same thing. If the bishop takes, the rook takes, then he's on the bishop. Yep. So that was always going to be happening. That's fine. So we can now start moving the king out of the way, can't we? Unless, of course, they're going to be doubling. Let's hit the queen. So the queen has to readjust. The power base of this attack has gone, but he's still going to have two rooks facing off the queen. So we need to adjust dead quick, and I don't think we're going to escape, you know. Bishop can come and take the pawn. Can it help? Yes, it can come here to then defend the pawn. But the queen is now... Oh, we can still... No, we're not, because the rook is still going to be coming here. I don't think we've got time, you know. Pushing the pawn. No, push the pawn. If we push the pawn up, he doubles. We move the king. No, then we lose the queen. Ooh, and we can't save it with the bishop at all. We could go for a take on the queen, but he's still going to put pressure with his two rooks. And let's just take on one of the rooks. Uh, oh, oh, the pot. No, okay, let's do that. So then he comes across, and then we get hit. We can't do anything about it. It's not done that. The knight is for free, but we can't take it. But this thing that we're talking about here with them having that threat, I thought they would have continued with that with the rook. We've got bigger fish to fry, obviously. We need to get this king out. Oh, we've got time to get the king out of the way. Not going there, but just coming across. Can't come across because the rook is there. So we're going to have to do this first. Damn, never getting my king out of the way, am I? Unbelievable. Oh, for shine on Harvey Moon. Let's go here. Stops in it doubling there, doesn't it? So the, and going into this corner, but it it's not stopping everything. I mean, there's all this sort of stuff going on. What is this now? I can't even come here because the knight's there. It's coming here, isn't it? Oh, I despair. I despair. Move the king out of the way. 
so it can go get a pawn. We're plus, we're plus one, we're plus one <laughs> again. Oh dear. So is there any movements just getting the king out of here? Because this is too much. Move. Rook can't come here. I'm just going to see if I can get the king out of here because it's... It's not boding well for us being here. Might start pushing pawns to block us. My poor rooks aren't even in the game. Look at all this def attacking potential. Ah. <sighs> We go there is knight can put a check on, but we do get here. But he's attacking this pawn. We are a pawn up, so we shouldn't be greedy. We can push the pawn up just to defend itself. So we don't need to give it away for free. Could push it here. Maybe push here. No, maybe push here. This knight's going to put the check on. It's attacking our... Too slick for me, man. Too slick for me. Doesn't want me escaping. Go back and save the pawn. He's attacking the bishop. Wants to get rid of the bishop. Oh my life. Where was I here? Nothing on a white square. Could come here. What's he got? He's got my pawn. He's got my pawn. Has he got a fork? No, let's just do this and see if we can get away with getting the king away it's taken rook can take yep okay and could look to double move the king out of the way <laughs> so if we went here then his rook takes, then we take. That looks a bit healthier for us. I'm going for this. But it's probably just putting a check on. Hopefully we can get to safety. He'll have to do a bit of step, step, step. Oh, he's doing that. So he'll have to do a step, step, or one of these to push here, but we can still move. But his rook is on this pawn. So we will have to do a bit of crab movement, side to side. Oh, if we go crab, then he goes boom here like this. So he still gets the pawn. So we might as well just take the pawn off the board. And take. The tack is rook. Take. Advanced pawn, but I don't think it's going very far. Let's move the king, see if we can squeeze into one of these. I think that's going to get thrown, isn't it? Or even that, actually. Takes, takes. Right, don't do preemptive. 
Don't do preemptive. Don't do a preemptive, please. Just play the game, see where they go. Oh, look at my time's running out. Time's running out. Damn, speed up. Keep two queens on, a bit quicker, won't it? Whoa, nearly, nearly, nearly. 